In this video, I'm gonna give you five roofing winter tips. It's a record-breaking winter already, huge snowstorm for the past few days all over the country. I just flew in from Memphis this morning. I've never seen South getting so much snow and so much cold so fast. If you own a house, I wanna give you a couple tips what you can do to prevent damage to your property. Number one, pay attention to snow load on your room, especially if you live in an area that usually doesn't get a lot of snow. Maybe it looks good on the driveway, you can shovel there, but the roofs are not designed for heavy loads of snow and snow can be very, very heavy. It might look good, cool at first to have a nice white blanket on your roof, but that blanket, that white stuff, white snow will capture all the rainwater later and if your roof is not designed for it, it might sag, it might damage your plywood, your shingles. Believe it or not, roofs do leak in the winter. Once it starts melting, you're gonna get in trouble. So if you did get a lot of snow, please rake it, try to remove it, pay attention to it. Number two, pay attention to ice dams. If your attic is not properly insulated, you're gonna start seeing ice dams forming around perimeter of your house. One thing you can do is to remove at least first couple feet of snow from your roof. It will help uh, it to start melting and it will help preventing the ice melting later. So even if you cannot get on the roof, I promise you, removing it from the ground is not very hard. You can go to a local hardware store, get something with a pole like big shovels and just scoop it all around the perimeter. That preventative uh, measure will help you a lot with the ice dams in the future. You might need to get on the roof and remove the rest of it, but at least get the snow right from the uh, around perimeter, right from the eaves. Number three is the most important tip today. Make sure you seal your attic access. Make sure you look at your can lights. Any penetration from your ceiling to the uh, attic is super important. If hot air is escaping in your attic, when you have a snow on top of it, number one, you will get those ice dams. Number two, you will get condensation underneath the deck. You wanna prevent it. In 2015, we went to Boston and one of the houses we were working on pretty much did not have insulated uh, attic door and it was slightly open. Within three days, they have so many ice dams. It took four guys a um, day and a half to remove. Cost $13,000 to the homeowner. They have huge icicles, looks like tree all around the perimeter. Absolutely destroyed the back of the house because it was resting on little addition on top of the skylights. You wanna prevent it. And all of that happened because their access attic door was slightly open so all the air rushed into the attic was warming it a uh, heater was working on a regular basis and it was melting slowly snow from the top and creating ice dams around so you want to make sure everything is sealed if you have not been in your attic for a while you want to open that uh, attic and see if it even has insulation home depot sells this little kit, it's like little pocket you can install from the top. You can buy a little insulation, you can seal it. Whatever you have to do, uh, this is the time to do it because when it's so cold outside, your heater constantly working in the air will always race to the top and it will find a way to your attic if something is not sealed. Go ahead, check your attic right now. Number four, you wanna prevent your winter roofing leaks from condensation. I used to own a roofing company for seven years and in the winter time, we would get calls for leaks. When it's super cold outside, roofs don't leak, you think? Yes, they do. Here's how roofs leak in the winter time. If you have any pipe, usually it's bathroom exhaust pipe or it could be kitchen um, exhaust from your microwave, from your stove. If it's going through the roof but gets a leak somewhere sometimes it got disconnected from the uh, pipe upstairs all the way at the roof so if that air from your bathroom somehow uh, exhausting inside the attic you're gonna have a lot of humidity i've seen it way too many times when i inspect uh, attics what's happening is that warm air with the moisture is uh, getting, maybe it's not too hot, but it's warm and it's, it has a lot of humidity in it. If it's uh, getting inside your attic, you're gonna have a lot of moisture underneath your deck. 
it will freeze when it's cold outside. And I've seen way too many pictures uh, from my fellow roofers all over the country when uh, it will develop, the, uh, it will freeze at first. And then when it starts melting, it'll start dripping on your attic. And people literally will have leaks on their ceiling thinking that their roof is leaking when in reality, what's happening is frost melting uh, because it's accumulated over time. You might have up to an inch of frost underneath your deck. When it starts melting, it's all gonna dump on your insulation. And if it's too much, you're gonna have leaks. Here in Minnesota, it's happening all the time. You wanna make sure that all your exhaust pipes are connected all the way to the pipes on your roof and exhausting out uh, on top of the roof, not under it. Sometimes they just fall apart. Sometimes uh, installer, original installer did not hook it up properly and it gets disconnected. No matter what the reason is, you wanna go ahead, check it out, make sure nothing is uh, venting into your attic. And number five, check for all the pipes around your house. It could be um, your garden hose outside. Sometimes pipes are too close outside and they might get busted. So while it's an outside, if it's too cold, and if your house does not have good insulation, you might have uh, bust in a wall or sometimes they go through the ceiling. I've seen uh, a lot of leaks that comes from the pipes upstairs. Uh, sometimes down south, they will run water lines or gas lines through the attic, sometimes even roofers. When we replace roofs, we uh, might not check for uh, pipes on other side of the roof a nail will penetrate that pipe. So we wanna make sure that you don't have any pipes that are not sealed anywhere on outside of the house or too close to outside. Sometimes it's worth adding a little bit extra protection cushion. Make sure it's everything is winterized at your property because it might work when it's, you know, uh, plus 10, but if it's negative 25, even if it's under plywood, but not insulated, you might have a uh, bust there. And the bonus tip today is fall in love with weather strips. Your windows, your doors. Uh, I just came uh, from uh, Tennessee and uh, their front door, Brent Siemens house, their front door, you literally could see the air, like quarter inch hole in the front of the door. It's south, right? So uh, the house is not built there to sustain you know, minus 10 degrees weather. And what needs to happen is someone needs to go to the store and buy weather strips. I'll give you a story. I bought a sauna and I love my sauna. I have this glass door that shuts into a uh, pretty much wood frame. I mean, technically my sauna is hot enough for me. I could get 150, 160 degrees when I purchase it, but it's not too hot for me. So I actually was watching as I'm pouring water on my rocks where the water is escaping. And I noticed around the perimeter where glass meets uh, wood frame, obviously it's all escaping. So I bought a set of weather strips and my sauna now heats uh, up to 190 degrees, 30 degrees difference, just on a set of weather strips. Make sure that you insulate that front door, make sure you insulate those windows. It doesn't cost a lot of money. You can do it yourself. Also go to uh, Home Depot, buy that plastic wrap. It's super easy to install. You just put a tape around your windows, add extra layer essentially. So if you have one pan uh, uh, glass, now you're adding extra, you're trapping that air, extra layer. That's what we do in Russia. In where I'm from, we have triple pan windows. You can do a double pan window essentially if it's too cold where you're from. It will save your HVC system because your heater should not be working 24 seven. That would be a disaster if it goes off. So you wanna protect that heater by insulating your attic doors, uh, insulating front doors, insulating your windows, fall in love with the weather strips, uh, apply them on any exterior door of your house, make sure it's shut. If you have to, put a blanket over it, stay safe, stay warm. Comment below how cold it got in your area, and I'll see you guys in the next video.